Hi guys, welcome to ASA Technical. In this video, I'll be showing you by installing base Windows 11 version for your PC without bloatware and no force updates. Well, so you have probably heard about Windows 11 IoT Enterprise LTSC, the version of Windows that first lightweight and does not come with all that unnecessary bloatware. Alright, in this video, I'm going to walk you through everything step by step from downloading ISO to getting it up and running on your computer. Here's some common reason behind why do people prefer Windows 11 IoT Enterprise LTSC over standard Windows 11. Number 1. No unnecessary apps like Candy Crush, Xbox, or White Gates. Number 2. It runs faster on older hardware since it is lightweight. Number 3. Unlikely, regular Windows 11 LTSC only receives security updates, not feature updates. And number 4. It's specially designed for industrial use, meaning fewer crashes and issues. However, if you have tried of dealing with annoying Windows updates and background apps slowing your system down, then this might be exactly what you need. So grab a USB drive, sit back and let's get started. Now let's talk about how to download Windows 11 IoT Enterprise LTSC. Note, this version is not available to the public like regular Windows 11. It's officially available for enterprise users, developers, IT professionals or a business user. But you can download the ISO file from Microsoft's official site. First, go to Microsoft Evaluation Center and click on Download Windows 11 IoT Enterprise LTSC. Fill in your details in the registration form. Now enter your full name. Next, give a valid email address. Next, we'll see a field for company and organization. Since you are a single user, just enter individual. Next, enter country and region. Select company size. Enter job role like IT professional or personal use. Next, you will need to enter a valid phone number. And click download now. Select your version according to your system architecture. Here you can choose 64-bit or AMD64 or ARM64. As you can see, the ISO file is available for all modern PCs. Now save your ISO file where you want to save. And your Windows 11 IoT Enterprise LTSC ISO file will be start downloading. Now wait for the file to finish downloading. I have already downloaded, so I am not doing it again. Now that we have the Windows 11 IoT Enterprise LTSC ISO, and you will need to download Rufus from the official website. Now let's create a bootable USB using Rufus for UEFI and legacy BIOS mode. After downloading, open the Rufus. Now you will need a USB flash drive at least 8 GB capacity. And insert your USB drive into your computer's USB port. And select your USB drive from the device drop down. Click select and choose the Windows 11 IoT Enterprise LTSC ISO. Under Partition Scheme, choose GPT if your system is UEFI. 
or choose MBR and press Alt plus E key for legacy BIOS and UEFI firmware both. After that, select File System and DFS and click Start. When this window pop up, make sure to uncheck all these options, especially remove requirement for secure boot, TPM 2.0, 4GB plus RAM and set local account instead of Microsoft account. The reason is that Windows 11 IoT Enterprise LTSC already comes with without these restrictions by default, unlike regular Windows 11. This version is designed to run on embedded system which often don't have TPM or high-end hardware requirements. If you leave this option checked, it could modify the installation files, which might cause compatibility issues or prevent feature updates from working properly. So always uncheck all the tweaks to keep your installation clean and stable. Now click OK and read the warning message about your USB drive and wait for the process to complete. Once done, your USB drive is completely ready for installation. Now let's install Windows 11 IoT Enterprise LTSC on our computer. First, insert the bootable USB into the target computer. Now restart your computer and press the BIOS boot manager key such as F2, F12, Escape or Delete depending on your system. Select the USB drive from the boot menu. To boot from that, the Windows setup will appear. Select your language and click on next. Now select your keyboard layout and click next. Check this box. I agree everything will be deleted including files, apps and settings and click next. Now accept the license terms and click next. Now select location where you want to install Windows. Make sure to select correct disk before clicking next. I will install on disk 0 so I will be deleting all the partition from disk 0. Next, I will be recreating a primary partition to install Windows 11 on it. Alright, now our primary partition is now completely ready. Now simply click on next. Now finally click on install to proceed and wait for the installation to finish. Once the PC restarts, follow the on-screen setup to create a local user account and finalize the settings.
All right, now we have successfully installed Windows 11 IoT Enterprise LTSC on our computer. Now go to settings, then windows update and click check for updates. Now keep patience, windows will automatically download and install drivers for most hardware. After installing drivers, restart your PC to ensure everything works properly. If you are using LTSC for long term stability or if you are using this on a personal PC, I recommend checking for updates at least once a month to ensure you have latest security patches. Try this method, I am sure it will definitely help to install Windows 11 IoT Enterprise LTSC on an old and a new PC. If you have any question then please let us know. Please like, comment and share. We need your support. And guys please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.